This is the best resort in Asia, located in the Maldives, the number one country in the world for honeymoon. We rented this island. There are 50 employees at your service. We'll try all Maldives hotels from the most expensive to the cheapest, starting from $6. Welcome to the Maldives! The $6,500, $12,000 to $100,000. We'll start from the capital, which is the cheapest. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Maldives. It is a Muslim country. Islam from Maldives, Muslim from Morocco, Al Darbari. It took me from Maldives, Al Quran. It is located in the Indian Ocean and consists of an archipelago. Islands, islands, and more islands. About 1,200 atolls. A succession of atolls in the Indian Ocean. Are lined up in an archipelago to form 26 islands. The equator passes to its south. Its area is 300 square kilometers. Its population is about 550,000. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, shukran. Alhamdulillah. It's rent to Britain by the central government of the Maldives Islands, which became independent of Britain in 1965. The Maldives was a British protectorate from 1887 until it gained independence in 1965. Its main income comes from tourism and fishing. The world of sushi. <laughs> it is considered the first choice of newlyweds and bachelors as well. That's why we rented an entire island in the best resort in Asia. Yeah. It's our private island, right? It's your private island. We make the dreams come true here. No way. <laughs> but we must start from the capital where you arrive at its airport, Malay, which is the most crowded island in the world in terms of area. This is one of the most crowded islands in the world. The capital became overcrowded, so they built Holomale Island next to Holomale, it. Holomale, yes. Its population is 100% Muslim. Islam reached them in the 12th century. When you leave the capital, you find the tourist islands that attract tourists, the Maldives you know. The Maldives. Welcome, welcome, brother. <laughs> when you land at the airport, you can take a boat and go directly to your private island. But before we go to the island and the luxurious places, let's see how the locals live. Let's see the Maldivian culture. We'll get to know them and try their food. These are all local shops. When you stay at a five-star hotel, your food comes from here. Peace be upon you. These are all kinds of vegetables here. Tomatoes, eggplants, everything's fresh. 95 to 80% of the products are... 95% of the products are produced here. Look how much they produce. 28% of the gross domestic product comes from tourism. 60% of the hard currency comes from tourism. However, fishing ranks second in GDP. I will show you tuna soon. The tuna experts are here. Let's see this fish market. Tuna, huh? a lot of tuna, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum. They're competing with Japan. It's fresh fish. They say they just caught it. Right behind me is the Juma Mosque, also called the Coral Stone Mosque. It was named so because it was built of coral stone. Most of these walls are just big blocks of corals. During low tide, they collected them and they cut them into cubes. This minaret was also built of coral stone. Have you ever seen a minaret like this? There are also Arabic words here. It says Sultan Iskandar. It's classified as a world heritage site. Maldives was discovered by Buddhists from Sri Lanka and South India. Peace be upon you. Do you pray here? How old is this mosque? Muhammad Sultan Ibrahim Iskandar, 350 years. It was built during the reign of Sultan Ibrahim Iskandar I in 1658. People still pray here after all these years. Imagine, this mosque is 400 years old. There are Arabic inscriptions right there. Basically, the Maldivian language contains a lot of Arabic letters. This is the Maldivian language. It's written from right to left, which is also how the Arabic is written. You'll notice a lot of Arabic letters here. The scene, the well. This word here, we use it as me. And when you put this line at the bottom, it becomes me. Okay, what do Maldivians eat? Uh, these are called uh, short eats, which is something we enjoy with the evening tea. This is their local food. One of the most popular dishes, it's called short eat. You eat it like an on-the-go snack, short eat. What inside? Tuna, a Tuna. bit of uh, grated coconut, some uh, spices. Mm. And then they put a dough and then... Uh, Delicious, made of dough. And this is called gula. This is also with tuna, some uh, coconut. This is like very local Maldives. This is a local food. Mm. Welcome to Hulu Malay, the island they built from scratch. It was an island that was created uh, urban expansion because the capital city, Male, was overcrowded. It's so overcrowded. So you'll see here a lot of beautiful architecture like this golden mosque. It's very beautiful. And playgrounds, they've created extra space. The bridge connecting the two islands, Male and Hulu Malay, built by China. You can also see many boats here that take you to the five-star islands. I'm going to one of the most luxurious islands in the Maldives to spend my honeymoon alone as usual. Nice to meet you. Thank you, thank you.
the Maldives, guys. Hello, Mark, how are you? Hello, Ata. We are in Itafushi, Waldorf Astoria, Maldives, Itafushi. Unique island, 119 villas. We have the largest private island in Maldives, the most exclusive island with nine bedroom villas, 12 F&B outlets, 12 F&B experiences. Meanwhile, you are in Maldives, you can try different cuisines uh, from different chefs. Michelin star chefs. There's a wide variety of international and fancy restaurants that serve dishes from different cuisines of the world, like Zuma, Lilong, and the ledge. So brother, I heard like Maldives only for honeymoon. No. Does it work on no, the ledge? No, no, no. We, we are just boys. Friends coming to enjoy Maldives. Doesn't have to be couples, right? No. So you can rent the whole island there? You can rent the whole island. Could go to 100,000, 120,000, depends the season. <laughs> We'll stay in the Maldives in three different types of villas and we've rented an entire island at a cost of $100,000 a night. We'll start first with the standard villa at $6,500 a night. Welcome guys to the Maldives for the third time for the honeymoon, but I'm still single guys. <laughs> Let's take a look at this amazing villa. This resort has won more than 50 awards. The team and I are here and they gave each one of us a villa. This is one of the villas they gave us and it's huge. Do you see that island? It also belongs to the resort and we'll be staying there tomorrow. We'll rent it for the whole day. You can swim. This is a net you can lie on while watching the sunset. This is the hotel. Very luxurious. Look at this. Very spacious rooms for you. I have my own villa. You can watch the sea from here. And the fish. I can't believe how many showers there are in here. One, two, and this one is outside. And of course, the jacuzzi. Let's see what we're gonna do. Bismillah, Maldives, guys. Let's do it. Waldorf Astoria Resort has many activities that you can do there. That's how we ended up in the middle of the Indian Ocean, in this place. Such as diving and snorkeling. My favorite is Sibal. Extremely remote and beautiful beyond description. The second villa is the floating villa. It is in the middle of the sea surrounded by water. Today we'll stay in the floating villa. The sea is all around you. You're in the middle of the ocean. Come on in. There's no road or bridge. If you need anything, you call them and they send you a boat within five minutes. Look at the changing rooms. This is the bathroom. Look, the jacuzzi. And here is the ocean. Bring me the boat. I want to go back home. Imagine this costs $11,000 a night. It belongs to the same resort, of course. Waldorf Astoria. Okay, we got to our private island. Only the four of us will stay on this island. All this island for me? Only for you. I can't do anything. Anything. We rented the whole island. So basically here, there is no defined uh, standards or, or menus. We personalize everything for our guests. So all the experiences are tailor-made for our guests. So I have my own chef and everything. We have around 50 uh, staff only for you, taking, care of, taking care of your stay. There are 50 people working on this island for us. You have your, uh, uh, your villas, but you have your own uh, restaurant, your recreation center, spa, gym, everything only for you. So you have your own paddle court, obviously. No way, I have my own. <laughs> Wanna play a quick game? Let's go, let's do it. It's our island, so we can do anything, right? What a wondrous island. Yes! Well done. I have my own car. Personal uh, concierge, we call personal. it. Personal. Yes. Obviously, we have a tennis court as well. 
This is probably the most beautiful tennis court. There's a tennis court plus a paddle court. Here, the sunset goes on this side, so we do beautiful events uh, as well for the guests. Bring your friends and family and do your events here. You can have a wedding party and you can repeat it three times a day if you want. Let me show you the best part in the entertainment center. Still, this is not the best part. So welcome to Ali, entertainment center where we have your private chef in the morning doing breakfast for you. You can spend your nights here as well. You have your private pool. I can bring my DJ. DJ Khalid. Private pool with access to the beach. There's a jacuzzi outside as well. You and your family, relatives, friends, neighbors, you can bring everyone you know here. Can I invite uh, people who watch the video? Can invite everyone. Anyone who click like? Please click like <laughs> and comment. This is the presidential island. The president was here, he left a while ago, and we came after him. We'll sleep here tonight before we leave. We'll spend the night here, and then we'll leave. I would really like to invite you here for a day. <laughs> Thanks to the resort management for the access they gave us, their support, and hosting us. All their info will be in the description box. Thank you all as well. Don't forget to visit the Maldives as soon as possible.